Angular perspective is a type of linear perspective. All categories of linear perspective include a horizon line and a stationary point, the position of the observer. In two-point perspective, there exist two points from which an object's lines radiate from, the sides of the object vanish to one of two vanishing points on the horizon line. An object's vertical lines do not relate to the perspective rules of the horizontal lines. By changing the vanishing points of the object, one can make increase or decrease the size of the object. Angular perspective is the same as two-point perspective. Let us start with the following example, in which the faces of the cube are equally inclined to the picture plane. Initially draw a horizontal line representing picture plane. Now, draw another horizontal line 50 mm below picture plane representing horizontal plane. Again, draw a horizontal line 60 mm below horizontal line to represent ground plane. Now, draw the top view of the cube with one edge on the picture plane and the other faces equally inclined to the picture plane, that is 45 degrees to the picture plane. Name the four edges of the cube which is represented as four vertices of the square from 1 to 4 as shown below. Now, select any arbitrary point on the horizontal plane as stationary point, since the exact location of the stationary point is not given in the question. And draw lines parallel to the faces of the cube from the stationary point, to intersect the picture plane. Now, join each edges of the cube, 1 to 4, with the stationary point as shown below. Then, project the lines vertically downward, from the intersection of lines drawn from stationary point parallel to the two faces of the cube and picture plane, to intersect the horizontal plane. This intersection point represents the two vanishing point in the angular perspective. Now, we have to obtain the orientation of the cube in the ground plane. For this, project the lines vertically downwards, from the intersection point of the picture plane and line joining points 1 to 4, with stationary point. Since, the point 1 lies in the picture plane, 
so the intersection of the vertical line from with the ground plane represents the point 1 in the ground plane. Now, vanish the line from point 1, simply by joining point 1 with the two vanishing points. Since, the points 2 and 4 lies in the vanished line from 1. The intersection of vertically projected line from respective point with the vanished line from point 1, represents the points 2 and 4 in the ground plane. Now, mark the height of the cube, that is 30 mm, on the vertical line from 1. This point may be assumed as point 1 on the top face. Then, vanish the point 1 on the top face. Again the intersection of the vertical line from the respective point with the vanished line represents the point 2 and 4 on the top face. To obtain point 3 on the top face either vanish the line from point 2 or 4 on the top face. And the intersection of the thus vanished line with the vertical line from 3 represents the point 3 on the top face. Since all the required points on the bottom and top faces are known. Simply join the points to obtain the required perspective drawing. 